So, Nick, it all began with an egg for you. Tell me about that. Well, uh, an egg's a good start for many uh, things, and for me it was the start of my whole business career, really. But I've always loved springs, and my idea, my first idea, 20 odd years ago, was to turn springs into egg cups. And all those years ago, I went to a factory with a back-of-the-envelope sketch that was no more sophisticated than that, and they decided that they'd help me to turn springs into egg cups, and everything really followed from that moment. And these very simple little back-of-the-envelope sketches have become really one of my signatures. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I've seen these, actually, on the uh, boxes um, of the products. And actually, this brings me to this fantastic pepper mill that has a really lovely winding mechanism to it. Tell me, what's the inspiration behind that? Well, I've always um, loved the old, original London Routemaster buses. And if you look carefully on the top deck, there's a window winder. It's a beautifully made little piece of original British engineering. And I just thought that would make a great oh, pepper mill. Okay. So that's what that is. It's a London bus turned into a pepper mill. And actually, there's another pepper mill here. This is made out of beautiful ash wood. It's got a great shape. What's the story behind that? Well, it's, it's rather feminine, this shape, um, as you'll see. But in fact, it was originally inspired by a jet engine. Because oh, if you look inside a jet engine, it's sort of that shape. So um, it's a Concorde-inspired item. And of course, it isn't just small pieces that you do. Um, there's a home storage range, um, which is kind of like 1930s vintage luggage. What's behind that? Well, it's got a big story behind that. In fact, my mother's to blame, in a way, because she bought me from Cole Brothers in Sheffield, the original John Lewis store, a beautiful leather suitcase, which I've had with me ever since. And it has lovely ticking inside and beautiful metal corners and so on. And I've still got it. It's been all over the world with me. Oh. And it was that piece that was the inspiration behind this series called Traveller. And of course, you are famous for your mirrors as well. Talk to me about this fabulous mirror here. It's got a really lovely faceted appeal to it. It isn't just a mirror, is it? It's almost a piece of art. Yeah, I've done a lot of uh, mirrors now for John Lewis. And this particular one's called Hide and Seek. And part of the reason it's called that is, as you can see, you don't get a single reflection. Wow. So it's a question of building a mirror a bit like a kaleidoscope so that all the little bits of it, all the facets of it, create reflections of your life. And it makes it into an art piece rather than just a mirror that you might brush your hair in. And speaking of shiny things, you've got the Geo coffee cup and cafetiere range here. Got a great shape to them. What's the story behind that? Well, um, travelling again, I'm afraid I've done a lot of that in my time, and I've always loved ships and uh, sailing boats and that kind of thing. So here we have a porthole. And here we've got a sort of ship's funnel off a bit of a big old 1930s cruise liner. And uh, again, it goes back to my sort of engineering roots, really, and loving trains and boats and planes and things that move places. So there's a theme running through many of these things, and uh, they're all different expressions of um, that passion for travel, really.